check. You're listening to All Hit 98 WMDM, and we're speaking with former members of the Beach Boys and the band, Blondie Chaplin and Rick Danko. Blondie, you were in the Beach Boys in the early 70s. How did that come about? Uh, I was originally from South Africa with a group called uh, The Flame. And we were living in uh, England for a couple of years, and the guys were in town looking for new talent for their Brother, Rec Brother Records label. So they saw us, and we started getting in talking, getting into a dialogue, and for, you know, the next couple of months we just kept in touch, and then they finally flew us over to uh, Los Angeles and do our first album on Brother Records' label. You worked uh, on the Holland album a lot, which is a very nice album. I believe you also wrote a song on there. Yeah, a song by the name of Leaving This Town. That was a good album, a real good album, a lot of fun making it anyway. Uh, it seems to have held up a little bit over the years. It seems to still sound pretty good, so I'm glad we did it. What do you think of the new Beach Boys song, uh, Get You Back? Is well, I, have, I haven't heard that, really. I haven't, somebody, uh, somebody else told me that last night in, uh, in uh, New York City and asked me if I heard it. I haven't heard it yet. Ringo Starr is playing with them? Oh, really? That's what we understand. Really? Boy, this is all news. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> well, Ringo, he'll play with just about anybody. <laughs> and Rick, Rick, I was watching TV the other day, and the kids are all right. We're on, and there was your name rolling through the credits. How'd you get on there? Well, I still haven't seen my face in the movie, but uh, I've seen my name roll behind the credits. You know, I might have been dressed in cognito, though. <laughs> what have you been doing with yourself? Oh, playing a little music, raising my family, you know, and uh, we just finished uh, filming and recording The Birds in Indianapolis. You know, we documented that, and uh, that should be around very soon, you know, for the people to see at home. I keep seeing the baseball cartoon on every once in a while. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's good for the kids too, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, that's that's one good way of getting rid, of, you know, dealing with the cheaters and the aliens. Uh, we'll just have all the the top half of their heads fall off and laugh as we score. All hit ninety eight has a softball uh, team this year. Oh boy, I like baseball. It's been very very good to me. <laughs> You'll have to come down to Southern Maryland and play. Absolutely, man. I you know I can play a few different positions. You know, uh, I can even catch a ball. <laughs> Rick, have you been doing any recording since uh, the last Eras director? Yeah, we just well, we just finished uh, doing a 24-track, 10-camera shoot in Indianapolis on the 20-year tribute to the birds, and uh, I saw you a couple of weeks back. <laughs> I saw you when you did the reunion, and you also did a fundraiser for what is it, Serva? Seva. Seva with the Grateful. Yeah, Day. that's. Uh, uh, an eye operation that uh, $15 eye operation that allows people to see again you know and, and, and uh, uh, it's a wonderful thing you know we raised I don't know a quarter of a million dollars and the Canadian government had to match that so we raised a half a million dollars for, uh, for save it in just one day that's wonderful and I'm sure the fans like myself who are in our mid 30s are waiting for the band again to come around Oh, that's nice. We might be doing something this summer together yet, though. It's a little premature, and I shouldn't really talk about it. <laughs> Have you heard Jackie DeShannon's version of Small Town Talk? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I found it in our record library. It's, uh, no, it's, it's, she did that a long time ago. Early 70s? Well, no, I wrote the song in, uh, in the early 70s. You know, uh, so it had to be mid-70s. <laughs> You also wrote a song with Eric Clapton, All Our Pastimes. Should be forgotten, all our pastimes should be erased. I don't care how much it costs, I don't count the loss as long as I can see your face again. <laughs> the a good song, yeah. We, that was fun. I was walking through uh, our Shangri-La studio one day, and they'd been there for about three days, and he was lost for words. <laughs> Well, Rick, as you know, the band did a song, I think, in 72, Baby Don't Do It, the Marvin Gaye song. And, of course, we lost oh, Marvin. In Holland, yeah. And that was one of your high-scoring hits on the charts. I, I know that. Why did you do the Marvin Gaye song? Well, I was always a big Marvin Gaye fan, you know, and uh, uh, Motown is uh, likely a big influence in my life, you know. Have you heard the Commodore's Night Shift? Absolutely. Let's play it right now. Sounds right to me. <laughs> 
You're listening to WMDM All Hit 98, WPTX AM 92, and our guests are Blondie Chaplin and Rick Danko. Blondie, you did a solo album and uh, did a couple of nice tunes on it. One of my favorites is Can You Hear Me? Oh, yeah. Sounds like The Who? Yeah, it's a really good song. I haven't done it for a while, but it's uh, turned out to be a real pretty good song. Real good. When you were working with the Beach Boys, was there a, a lot of friction in the group as far as writing goes? Don't tell them, Blondie. Don't tell them, Blondie. No, we can't. Uh, no, at, at, at the time, it, was, it wasn't that much friction. I mean, there's so many people... Brian peoples. was writing with his toes. Right? <laughs> in the sand. Uh, there's so... <laughs> Well, there's so many writers, so, you, you know, this, there wasn't any friction. It's just you don't have a chance to really do too many things because there's so many guys that write. You know, it's like six, how many, six or seven people at the time, you know. But Brian was writing most of the stuff anyway. What about Carl and the Passions? They repackaged that with Pet Sounds. Yeah, that was unusual. I don't know if that did too well, but uh, it was the first album that Ricky Fattah and myself, after joining the Beach Boys, did with the, with the Beach Boys. And... It was a lot of experimental on that, and I think uh, the uh, Holland album got into more of a, a nice, stable pattern, you know. That was a good album for us. Let's listen to Here She Comes. Go for it. Let's go. <laughs> Our guests are Rick Danko and Blondie Chaplin. This is All Hit 98, WMDM. Gentlemen, where do you think music's going in the 1980s? Uh, Rick will answer that. Uh, music, you know, <laughs> music will be going, you know, the same place in the 90s as, you know, as the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, music's always going to be going someplace. That's what's wonderful about music. That's what keeps us here. You know, that's that takes us likely, golly, into our greatest ex escapes. Keeps us young. You know, and uh, <laughs> and uh, even people that don't uh, play music, I'm sure, use music as 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 the great escape. You know, and uh, and golly, what would we do without music? I mean, I'd have to work for a living. <laughs> The band scored a hit on the motion picture soundtrack, The Big Chill. How'd that happen? Oh, that was very innocent. <laughs> you know, all of a sudden, it just happened, you know. Uh, uh, we've, we've uh, I don't know, we're getting ready here to do another soundtrack uh, and maybe even do a little starring here. I, uh, but that's, which I don't even know the name of that. The, the first run or something. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sad story about, you know, about about musicians, you know, and, and music, and and but music always wins, wins out, you know. And you guys are definitely a couple of winners. <laughs> well, gee, thank you very much. Uh, Nobody here has a mohawk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> um, any of the new stuff that's out that you might be fond of right now? Oh, you have I'm a fond of all the new stuff that's out. No, we kind of reckless recluses. We don't get to hear, you know. All of it, but we get to hear some of it, you know, and uh, and it's good to keep an ear open, you know, all the time, you know. I sometimes even sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Blondie still does Sail on Sailor in your repertoire. Yeah, still. When, whenever we can uh, really get him to do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just just my arm once in a while. <laughs> what are some of the songs you're going to do tonight? Oh, we can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stay for the show. Yeah, come down to the show. You know, we'll do we'll do we'll do some new stuff. We'll do some familiar stuff. And we'll even do some old stuff. <laughs> Any reflection on uh, Woodstock 15 years ago? 16 years ago now? Well, you know, uh, it was a way to sell tie-dye. <laughs> 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 you know, and I still live in that neighborhood, you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, golly, I have teenage kids now, you know. And, uh, and it, it's really a nice place to be. Okay. Will you do these IDs for us? Gentlemen, thank you for being our guest. Okay. I'll be right back. He'll be right, He'll be right back. Go and set the phone call. Okay. Can I get him that to read that one? Sure. Thank you, Rick. Which one would you like me to... Uh... Okay. Just that. Yeah, say hi. This is Blondie Chaplin. Okay. You're listening, formerly of the Beach Boys. Okay. Hello, this is Blondie Chaplin, formerly of the Beach Boys. You're listening to WMDM-FM, Lexington Park, all hit 98. Keep on rocking. Do Rick's part, but don't say Rick. Read all of those. So can, see, we have two stations. What do you want me to do? All these three? All three, except put your name in here. Hi, this is Blondie Chaplin, formerly of the Beach Boys. You're listening to AM 92 WPTX Lexington Park.
Hello, this is Blondie Chaplin. You're listening to WMDM FM Lexington Park All Hit 98. Hi there. This is Blondie Chaplin, formerly of the Beach Boys. You're listening to WPTX WMDM Lexington Park. If you can do that one right there. Okay. Oh. Hello, this is Blondie Chaplin, formerly of the Beach Boys. You're listening to WPTX WMDM Lexington Park. On a Beach Boys weekend, sail on sailor. That's great. So, uh, you've been sticking close to Rick over the, the past few years. Oh, so yeah. I'm we've been we've been pals for a long time, you know. So, uh, I hadn't well, I hadn't seen him for about a year, a couple of years, and then this uh, this thing came about for about four months ago with this birds reunion, and he called me up and got me out of the house and asked me if I wanted to play, and I said sure. So this is we we, we keep in touch all the time, really. Um, I'm always in pretty close touch with Rick on the phone, by letter, or whatever, you know. Or if I'm playing in town with different people, I'm usually, you know, look him up and say hi. It was a tragedy when rock and roll lost Dennis Wilson, and I'm sure he was a, a great he was a great musician. That's how I knew him from listening to the records, but you knew him a little bit better. Could you say anything about him? Oh, boy, I, I don't know. What can I say? Uh, I won't use it, so. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say. I just, uh, I've, God, words escape me now. I, uh, I felt real shocked. Well, I felt real sad because I hadn't seen the guys for a while up until that point. But when that happened, it was I was real stunned, you know. And it was, I don't know. I can't say too much about it. It was just really a tragedy and it was very sad, extremely sad. And I'm sure the other guys in the band who knew him even longer than I did really miss him. But they keep on. Boy, can we take a, a couple second break here? Just... Let me just get some juice. Okay. Okay. Can I stay back here till Rick comes back to get sure, the juice? Sure, yeah, sure. I leave on and his wife he took my wife and me out to the sushi bar when they were in town. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I we live in the country though. They don't have them out there. So. Right. But I met him I guess five years ago. I, I write to him every once in a while. But it's pretty crazy, you know. Radio is crazy. Yeah, radio. Uh, Which line? Just read this part and say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Do the whole thing and then say that? Okay. Hi, this is Blondie Chaplin. You're listening to WMDM FM Lexington Park, All Hit 98. Merry Christmas. Hi, this is Richard Manuel. You're listening to AM 92 WPTX Lexington Park. Merry Christmas. Would you do MDM too? That's the FM. Hello, this is Richard Manuel. You're listening to WMDM FM Lexington Park. All hit 98. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Check, check, check. <laughs> And what about the young lady? Just a cousin of mine. A cousin of mine. That's later. Right on. How did this birds reunion affair come about? Yeah, that's this guy. He hasn't really done any time. John York. <laughs> How did? Why did you decide to do a tribute to the birds? Well, it, it's sort of like a, a child of the idea of getting the original birds back together. Yeah. We couldn't get all the original guys. Yeah. Um, so we decided it's one big musical family. Let's see who was really interested in playing this music again. And we came up with this particular uh, combination of uh, crazy people to do it. And how is it being received? Oh, it's being received really well, as a matter of fact. We, the audiences are uh, great. What do you think? Any comments? I'm going to add it. How did you get roped in? Oh, listen, I got roped to Rick just called me up one morning, Danko, and 
Went to see if I wanted to get out of the house and play. <laughs> hey, you want to get out of the house, Blondie? And I said, sure, let's go out. So that's how my involvement is. Uh, got in that's how I got involved. Anyway, I just got a call from Rick, and I wanted to know if I wanted to play and do some birds music. I said, great, man. I love birds music. So here, here I am. And there's Mr. Rick Roberts walking down the stairs with his hands are loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rick. Would you do a station ID for our radio station? If you just insert your name where Mr. Danko's name is, I appreciate it. If you'd say, Hi, this is Rick Danko, formerly a Firefall. That'd be great. We're <laughs> I mean, Rick Roberts, formerly a Firefall. We're still playing your music. Okay. Hi, this is Rick Roberts, formerly a Firefall, and you're listening to AM92, WPTX, Lexington Park. Hi, this is Rick Roberts, and you're listening to WMDM in Lexington Park. All hit 98. Last but not least. Hi, this is Rick Roberts, formerly a Firefall, and you're listening to WPTX and WMDM in Lexington Park. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, we're going to think ahead here, you know. <laughs> yeah, really. If you say, hi, this is Gene Clark, formerly of the Birds. You're listening to AM92. Let me just, just say of the Birds. Okay. okay. Hi, this is Gene Clark of the... Wait a minute, let me go over this. What am I reading here? What am I... Oh, what am I supposed to... Oh, that's John York's. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I know, that's what I almost did. I was going, hi, this is Gene Clark of John York, care of... Box 444. Hello, this is Gene Clark. You are listening to WPTX. Sorry, guys. Okay. Blondie. Hello, this is Gene Clark of the Birds. You are listening to WP... Oh, gosh. Put, put, uh, I'm, I'm just got out of the car. Josh, or Blondie, or somebody. There you go. Give it a hand. Here we go. Hello, this is Blondie. <laughs> Funny, you don't sound like Blondie. This is the girl who made the Buzzlawa for All right. How are you? This is Norman. Okay, hi, Norman. Hello. This is Shane Clark of the Birds, and you are listening to WPTX. You want the other one, too? Oh, okay. Oh, I get you. Hello. No, that's not it. Hello, this is Gene Clark of the Birds. You are listening to WPTX Lexington Park. Let me try another one. Hello, this is Gene Clark of the Birds, and you are listening to WPTX in Lexington Park. Do you want the other one, too, WMDM? Hello, this is Gene Clark of the Birds, and you are listening to WMDM, Lexington Park. Hello, this is Gene Clark of the Birds, and you are listening to WMDM FM, Lexington Park. All hit. 98. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Hello, this is Gene Clark of the Birds, and you are listening to WMDM FM, Lexington Park. All hit 98. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you, Gene. Gene, what instilled this birds reunion? Well, it's not really. Tribute to. Okay, it's not really a, a reunion. What it is. We, we sort of started out as a tribute to the birds and then kind of turned into uh, a collection of different people from the North American music family, you know, ex 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 you know, including, um, say, Rick, Rick Danko, Richard Manuel from the band, myself, Michael Clark from the original birds, John York from the birds, Rick Roberts from Firefall and uh, the Burrito Brothers. Uh, Blondie Chaplin from the Beach Boys. Um, and it uh, just sort of melted together. I mean, it was just sort of like everybody was in the right place at the right time. We got together, started uh, picking a little bit and and having fun with it. And that's really that's really basically what happened, you know. Well, you do recording in a studio, do you? 
I think we all hope so. You know, uh, of course now there are times and different times when when some of us have different schedules that we have to meet, you know, like uh, other other commitments for periods of time, but then we'll end up getting back together probably and c continuing on because for one thing, it's hard to find a band of what what you would say maybe in the music world or in the sh entertainment world of heavies, <laughs> you know. That can all be together in the same group and really respect and like each other and get along, and that's that is rarity because even in some of the best musical situations I've been in, it it still wasn't that comfortable amongst people, you know. So, and then, you know, of course, I mean, every, there's always the ups and downs, but in this particular case, I think uh, everything's going really well as far as everybody communicating. Uh, I will, of course, I'm always writing. I've, always gotten new stuff and and rick and i are writing some things and john york and i are working on a couple of things and uh we just did a um a video concert in indianapolis which was uh two nights of shooting and uh um 24 track recording so that may come out as an album and a video you know soon concert video went very well what I've seen of it so far because we're still in the editing and dubbing and, and so forth mixing it looked real good looked and sounded real good so there we are well good luck with that thank you for being our guest sure thank you very much and while I have you on the spot here I'd like to ask you about the song 8 Miles High the controversy that went along with that um, 8 Miles High really it I mean, you could, you could, in those days, controversy went along with almost everything, because it was, it was the new turning point of, uh, uh, well, let's say it was a particular turning point of, uh, you know, <laughs> differences in, <laughs> excuse me, uh, it was one of those turning points in, in, uh, history as well as music but music always follows history like like poetry does uh or uh, art of any kind like at, at a certain time shakespeare's writing there was a particular change in history at a certain time of of uh, you know elvis presley and that event of music there was a, another change in history and and at the time when the birds and eight miles high happened that was another change so uh the controversy is just an obvious thing to go along with something like that the word high uh, the fact that that was also when what they call so-called drug culture came into existence and all those kind of things. It was just natural for it to happen that way. It was just a piece of poetry about an airplane ride to uh, England and how it felt being there the first time when, uh, you know, we were, like at that time, I, I believe uh, we had the number one record, uh, Beatles had the number two record, and the Rolling Stones had the number three record. You know, it's that kind of a thing. So going there and being in, in their own thoughts for foreigner and the way we were received and treated was partly great and partly cold, you know. So that's really what it was all about. Did the 60s go by quick for you? 60s uh, actually went by fairly slow. Uh, but the good parts of the 60s went by rather quickly. But the, 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 more, the later 60s, I, I kind of got away from I moved into the Dillard and Clark and the country uh, music experimentation thing then because I didn't really, I wasn't that crazy about where rock and roll was headed at that point, at that time. And through the 70s, I think that rock music really suffered. What about the Birds reunion? Chris Hillman said that the magic just, it was there, but it wouldn't work. Is that true? Well, it, the magic amongst those people is always there, but there were so many different things going on. Everybody else was in different groups. Several people weren't in town at the same time. I mean, there are, there are some cuts on there where it's not even the birds playing. It's like uh, me, David Crosby, uh, Neil Young, Graham Nash, Stephen Stills, people like that put together, you know. Like, but just because they were the people that were around it and available to go into the studio, you know. I mean, it, it, otherwise, we probably could have cut a great album had we had the time, you know. Even though I'm not saying it's a bad album. I'm just saying that I think the timing was a little bit wrong for it. I think the fact that we were all doing different things and, and couldn't get together at the right time, that's all. Well, you've put out some, some great solo albums, and I hope people will pick up on them in the record stores and the cutout bins and find out what a fine musician you are. 
Well, thank you very much. And thank you for talking with us. Okay, you bet. And, and now, what, what do you want me to say? Just say, hello, this is Gene Clark. You're listening to Thomas on WPTX, WNB, and that's me. Say the type one out there. Now, wait, you want both of them, or? Yeah, it's been Okay. Hello, this is Gene Clark. You're... Hello, this is Gene Clark of the Birds. You are listening to WPTX, WMDM FM, Lexington Park, and you are listening to Thomas Groom. Thank you very much. That's all good. All right, good. Okay. Thank you. Here we are again. You know, doing another. McGuinn, Clark, and Hillman. They had a had a pretty good hit with "Don't You Ride Her Off." Yeah, it, it was a good thing that we had going. It's just what happened is it kind of, I think it kind of depressed everybody when it fell apart. It was too many chiefs and no Indians. There wasn't any real uh, positive, I mean, we had positive thinking about it, but there wasn't any real positive direction. It it, it fell apart, and it was just one of those things, you know, you got to be very careful when something starts to become successful. you got to watch how you handle it, that's all. Thank you. Check, check. Okay. Let me see where are we in. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to AM ninety two WFTN. <laughs> I told you I can't see. <laughs> okay, let me do this one first, okay? I'm one of the original birds, man. Okay, let me do this, Richard. Let me do this. Make sure you say Lexington Park. Okay. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You listen to All Hit 98, WMDM FM. Okay, I'll do it again. <laughs> what What is the name of it? The What's the, no. What is What'd you say to you? What's this? Lexington Park. Lexington okay, Park. what do I say? I, I'm Rick Danko. Hi, this is Rick Danko. You're listening to WMDM Lexington Park, all hit 98. Okay. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to WMDM FM, all hit 98, Lexington Park. Okay, I didn't do it right. Again, they were yelling, hey, Rick, hey, Rick. So, do it again for me. Come on. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to WMDM FM, Lexington Park, All Hit 98. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to WMDM FM, Lexington Park, All Hit 98. You know how lucky you are. One. Is it, is it, uh, Let me see what the other one says. It was WPTX. You want to do that one? Yes, yeah. WPTX? WPTX, Lexington Park. WPTX. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to WPTX, Lexington Park. No, hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to WPTX, Lexington Park. 92 on your dial. AM 92. AM 92. Okay. <laughs> Let me give you one. I'm high. I'm on, uh, w, what is it again? W what? Do you have a... Huh? Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to WPTX, Lexington Park, AM 92. Hi, this is Rick Danko, and welcome to the All Hit 98 album spotlight featuring the band. We hope you enjoy it. Say that again. Hi. How you doing? Hi, this is Rick Danko. And welcome to the All Hit 98 album spotlight. Hi, this is Rick Danko. Welcome to the All Hit 98 album spotlight. Tonight we're featuring the band. Tonight we're featuring the band. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You're listening to. Oh, so say it again. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Welcome to the All Night Hit. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Welcome to the All Night Hit. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Welcome to the All Night Hit album spotlight. 
Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Welcome to the All Hit 98 Spot Album. Okay, what did it say again? Okay, the All Hit 98 Album Spotlight. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You listen to the All Hit 98. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> My, okay, is, is, it, is it written down here? Yeah, it is. Where is it? Which one is it? <laughs> okay, here I got it. Okay. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. And welcome, okay. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Welcome to the All Hit 98 album Spotlight. Tonight we're featuring the band. How about this? Let's continue with the All Hit 98 album Spotlight. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Let's continue with the All Hit 98. Okay. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. What did you say? Say it again. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Let's continue with the All Hit 98 album Spotlight. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Let's continue with the All Hit 98 Spotlight Special. <laughs> almost there, Rick. I can you okay, almost one more there. time, man. Hi, uh, right. right. I'm Rick Danko. Let's continue with the All Hit 98 Album Spotlight. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Let's continue with the All Hit 98 Spotlight. The All Hit 98 Album Spotlight. Okay. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. Let's continue with the All Hit 98 <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, just say all album Hey, let's get him to do it, man. Let's what? get Michael Clark to do it. Dude, Michael Clark is a storm. Okay, give, oh, give right, it to me I'm, one more time. I'm, I'm like, the All Hit 98 no, album spotlight. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. You listen to the All Hit 98 spotlight. All Hit 98 album spotlight. Marco, I'm going to address you. Okay. Right. Get out of tape, right. yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we still right. got tape. We're out of jeans. I trust you. Just, uh, <laughs> Rick, just say the All Hit 98 Album Spotlight. What's your name? Huh? Say it again. The All Hit 98 Album Spotlight. The All Hit 98 Spotlight. Say it again. All Hit 98 Album Spotlight. All... Hit 98 album Spotlight. Yeah, do that. Box 434, Bearsville, New York. Hi, I'm Rick Danko. 12409. <laughs> Thank you, Rick.